Okay, so gonna be replacing this boot on a 2002 GMC Envoy. Um, this is the little thing that comes with it, but we're not gonna use that. We got these metal like zip ties we're gonna use. Um, here's the part number for what we're replacing. It was like 20 bucks. Um, there's a gloves, I guess, if you want to wear gloves. We don't use gloves. We just use our hands. It's dirt. It'll come off. With some soap and water. But this is the part we're replacing. Is this rubber boot. The one that's on there is leaking pretty bad and it needs to be redone. Um, these are the cables we're using. We got them from Harbor Freight. And this we got from, I want to say AutoZone. Yeah, AutoZone. Um, but again, it's going to be on a 2002 GMC Envoy. I think it has to do with that rubber thing. Part of their risk but anyways, in the um, about the money I don't know. <laughs> this is the envoy that's getting to the boot replaced. 2002 SLT. I can't, I'm not really going to go over there because that's all muddy, but this is what the one that it's being worked on, G, 2002 GMC Envoy SLT. <sighs> but we're just going to get it jacked up and let it air dry unless you can you're somebody that wants to just sit there and keep drying it with a towel as it's draining out but that's just uh, just time consuming where you could just let it drain out and air dry itself and any jack will do for the most part but always make sure you got safety use a log or anything that'll make you feel safe yeah don't be stupid and just jack it up and be like oh it's on a jack i can get under there yeah. there's some more gloves if you're one of them pritzy people that don't want to get your hands dirty which they're going to rip anyways and you're going to get dirty and these are the lug wrenches you use and if you're doing it in the cold like we are get yourself a cushion <laughs> and here's some tools that you can use and so you don't mess up your um, alignment get yourself a, a tape measure and a marker a marker so you can mark it and measure it all so it stays the same. And that way you don't mess up your alignment. And then you just pop this thing off. Which you could have done that with your hand. If you wanted to. Then you just start. Loosening the lug. And never let a bunch of people work on your car. Yeah, because then you have to fix what they messed up. Do it yourself, man. Milwaukee County Energy Assistance and Weatherization, and you'll get connected with free money saving services and a one time annual payment towards your energy bills. Visit keepwarmnke.org. Make sure the tire comes off the ground. 
number one for podcasting. Hi, everybody. This is Huey Lewis. Hi, this is Pat Benatar. Hi, Steve Miller here. This is Cindy Lauper. Milwaukee's best variety of the 80s and more. 957 BFM. It's off. Oh. Put your log up under there? And always put bricks under your tires, your three tires, so that it don't roll forward or backwards on you. And you get your log or whatever you're going to put under there. Make sure it goes under the frame, so if it falls down, it's not falling on you. Always make sure you have a, a music in a <laughs> beer or a cola. Otherwise, you're just a dope. All right. <clears throat> then you just get the lug nuts off. They should just spin right off like whatever, you know. Unless you have somebody that went and put them on there and tried to re-thread them. Yeah, that's fucked up. Messed up. Depending on if this goes on YouTube or not. So you gotta watch the words and language you use. And like this one, you can't do it. That's why you don't let nobody work on your car other than yourself. But that's how you take a lug nut off, so. <laughs> some people will take it upon themselves just to butt in. Whether you ask them or not, because they're all so certified. And most certified people are really stupid. And charge you a hell of a lot of money for their dumbness. Try to make you feel stupid, and you're not. You're smart, you can do all this yourself. And there you go. Ah, let me run in the house and get a light. Hold on. 95.7 Big Ass Time, when Milwaukee's best variety of cases. It's getting dark. It's cold out. It's hard to see, but that's what's got to come off. The person that put it on there put a big hole in it, so my power steering fluid is just draining out. So me and my dad, which by the way, we are not certified mechanics. We are what you call a backyard mechanic. But that boot has to come off. Oh, let them know too. And when you call an auto store, they'll tell you you need the whole rack and pinion, everything in the boot, and you don't. And they'll charge you anywhere from eighty to four hundred dollars. And you can buy the boot by itself. But I'm gonna pause this till we get a light over here, so it doesn't run out. The record time. Which is coming from the back right now. So that didn't... This is the boot that has to be replaced. And you see some drips there. Evidently I didn't tighten that down good enough back there. But I got some proper tools and everything now to work with it properly. So this was the job of somebody else that I tried to backyard and hillbilly it. But didn't work so now we're gonna do it proper hopefully so watch and see what happens but right now we're just gonna remove the boot off of there let it drain completely and air dry and you could just use this 
regular screwdriver. Regular screwdriver or or a little socket or a tiny wrench, one or the other. You can buy something like this at Walmart for I don't know what. I think it was like 20 bucks that Dom yeah. paid for it. It's 116 pieces hyper torque or 25 I think. Whatever. It was 20 something. Uh, it was pretty cheap for this much stuff right here. So we'll take out, um, I think it's this one. Now we're not real mechanics or anything, but we're oh, doing I'm our sure best. I said that in the video. <laughs> A few times I said we're not no certified okay. mechanics or anything what like is that. that? Number? Where? There's, there's Nine. A, for this one, the empty one, six. Five sixteenths. All right, it's a five sixteenth. Um. Socket. Socket, but with what we have, we got to use this extension thingy. That um, can you see it? I don't yeah. know. Um, it helps so that your wrench can go to a smaller thing. And always remember, it's lefty loosey and righty tighty. Or whichever way it comes off now. <laughs> <laughs> you could just rip it off if you want. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah. Get it on there and just start loosening it up. I'm gonna use the screwdriver now. Now you see here, you wanna mark this though when you're ready to take the whole thing off or replace it. We'll deal with that later. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. What I'm doing? Am I in the way? No. I can see it in between you and the fender and I got it zoomed in far, far enough where I can see it all but it's not distorted or anything. All right. This was my hillbilly job. I use this to hillbilly it, but it was too old and too cardboardy-ish, so it really didn't work. Now I got one more to take off. See it in there? Yeah. This is what happens when you don't do it right. It gets all messed up like that. And you got somebody else doing it. And unless you have somebody who works on your car all the time, and it's just that person, but if you have like two, three, four people working, you're gonna wind up with something like this. So try to stick with just one person or yourself. Or if you have a oh so certified mechanic, yeah, a lot of certified mechanics aren't certified. <laughs> Backyard mechanics do things better. There might be some swearing and some cussing and, cussing and some smacking up the car and, and whatever, but, yeah. but it gets done. Especially and that if just shows the car that you ain't playing no games and get it right. <laughs> Show your car who's boss. <laughs> well, nine out of ten times, it's your car showing you I'm the boss. Do yeah. me right or don't do me at all. Well, but, this has been backyard a whole bunch of times, and I finally am sick of it, and I'm going to do it as right as I can right now. I search for clamps. It's very hard to find clamps for this. You get a lot of clamps that come with the boot, but they, they look really stupid. Or you get um, zip ties that are plastic and... That do nothing. 
Yeah, it just it's just ridiculous. See, there's a hole that the certified mechanic put said in. happened from a clamp. It did not happen from a clamp. It happened because he clamped it over one of these two things here. Over the nut bolt and things. And pushed through. And that's what happened. So now it's all screwed up. So now it's got to be replaced. Because he's certified. <laughs> and believe you me, have a lot of regs around. Because this is a very messy job. <laughs> you didn't have me that. Can you reach that beer up there? No. <laughs> I'll grab that. Can you see it? I can see it better than before. Alright, maybe you have to like lay down on me or something. I don't know. So you can so I can show this here. Alright. Well the light is shining into the camera. Alright. Alright, yeah. Alright, right here, I don't know if my arm's in a way or anything. But right here is another one of these. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. So I have to come under this opening over here to get to that and take this and loosen it so I can get that off. Okay, so I'm going to, can you see what I'm doing here? Mm -hmm. All right. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there without a, an extension. Yeah, I got to go get an extension. All right, I need an extension. I'll be right back. I don't know. I, can, I don't know the size or inches or anything, but this is the extension I'm gonna use to get that clamp off. So you can use this one if you want to to help you with more extension, more room or whatever. But this is the one I'm gonna use. I'm not sure what size. It looks like two inch. This one looks like about a five or six inch. So I'm not sure about all of this. It's just, hopefully you can tell by just looking at the video. Sorry about that. I'll figure it out later. This is our first video, so. Uh, uh. I don't know how the fuck this guy like that. Nope. Okay, give me a screwdriver. A smaller one. Smaller one? Yeah, Oh, that'll do if you want to Alright. So, <laughs> that one get in there. I don't know why, but I'm going to use a screwdriver instead. Really hard to do here. All right, here we go. It's working. It's working. All right. Okay, it's off. All right, next thing is. I think I forgot the... Uh, no, I got one right there. Oh, and I think... Are you going to take the tie rod end out? I have to. Well, because I don't think I'll be able to fit that in this video. Why? Because well, the time's almost can't out. Can't you stop it and just start it over? Kind of splice them together later. Somehow figure it out how to splice it all together later. And have to upload multiple videos. Well, then if you have to do that, then do that. Because I've seen it done. There's many different parts. Okay. So 
So you'll use something like this. See it? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you get in here? This is called a Carter pin. Right here, this thing. And you, I don't know if I can get in there without getting in the camera. Take it. And split it out like so. Can you see it? When your hand's not in the way. Okay. I can't even see it myself. Okay. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Alright. Let me do that. Try to get them together. And then. Well, this yeah. video is almost out of time, so part two will be okay. coming out. Well, I don't know. Maybe just shut it off and start it over.